Yeah, you were hungry, weren't you? Yeah, you like that, don't you? It's good stuff. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's good stuff, isn't it? I think the plants are about done for the year. Got some up here on the table that I need to move. Got to take those and put them elsewhere. But this is kale. The bugs had eaten it all off. and Looks like the leaves are coming back out now. It's been cold lately, so kale kind of likes uh, cold weather, so and it's coming on. It's doing good, putting those leaves back out. This one was a Brussels sprout. I don't see anything growing on it. I think that one's a... This one was a broccoli. I see something growing down there. I still see green. So maybe it'll come around. This one's a Brussels sprout. I still see green on that. So hopefully this will come around too. Got some onions growing in there. Those look like those green bunch onions that you can get at, like at the grocery store, you get a bunch of them together. So I need to, I'll be transplanting all these into my four by eight fall garden. I'll be putting these onions, the two, the two Brussels sprouts and the broccoli and the kale and that kale too. So I'll be putting those in the four by eight. I keep hearing a bird talking to me. I gotta get out here and do some work. Gotta be cleaning up the yard. Mm. I've been putting off doing yard work. I guess you can tell that, huh? <laughs> we did get a lot of rain for a while, and then, uh, and then it got cold, and I just didn't want to get out here. And that bird's out there talking to me. I don't know what kind of bird that is. I guess it's one of those crows. So, cleaned up the porch a little bit. It did have little potted plants all over it. But, uh, anyway, it was our angel. And, uh, porch swing. Love the porch swing. Get out there and swing a lot. But anyway, the uh, the four baits around the side of the house. You know, sometimes when I come around here, I see deer, or I see groundhogs, or I see other cats. Yeah, those cats like to come around whenever I whenever I feed my cat. Sometimes they're hiding down in there. But they'll hide around here. And uh, when they know that I'm not watching, they'll, they'll come up here and try to take my cat's food. But anyway, this is uh, the old four by eight I was working on. It looks horrible, don't it? <laughs> yeah, I did a layer of like, like uh, table scraps from the house. And I did a, you know, some little bit of cardboard and paper plates and other odds and ends like that. And then I did a layer of uh, uh, newspapers. And I got the these cardboard boxes. I'm going to be laying out. And I got I got a lot to clean up out here. I just let the yard go this the end of this summer. But I got to get out here and clean every bit of this up. And. Uh, I don't know if you can see it or not, but I got some trails leading over in there in that corner. So I'm thinking maybe something's going in and out over there. I gotta figure that out. 
Right there's a spot where some animal's been curling up in there. I don't know. It's a good sized spot. So, I got animals around, so once I get my little fall garden going, then uh, I'm going to have to do something. Maybe build a little fence around it. But I've got uh, some work to do. I'll be making some videos of that. And uh, I just got home from work and I figured I'd come out here. I had to feed the cat anyway. But I figured I'd come out here and, you know, just start looking around. See, some animals have drug some trash back there. <clears throat> yeah, I gotta clean this up. Maybe in a couple of days. Maybe tomorrow. I would do more today, but I was up all night working. Uh, but I'll need to get out of here, clean this up. Work on this 4x8. The ground's wet. When, every time I take a step, I, I kind of sink down like a half an inch or so. But, um, yeah, this is my little spot here. I got, I got these. These are, uh, oh, what do they call these? Bradford pears. And uh, I need to trim them back. I, I did trim some of those back this past early uh, spring, but I didn't get around to doing these. So, but as you can see, the sun's right there, right? So when the sun comes over, this, these trees are just going to be blocking the sunshine. So I need to trim them, trim them down to about right here, kind of like I, kind of like they were before, about this level, just just above the uh, the main trunk there. So I do have an, an electric chainsaw that I'll be using to come out here, make it a little bit easier. But anyway, as you can tell, there's a little bit of sunshine. But in order for me to have sunshine for my little garden I'm going to build here, and I will end up putting a, uh, uh, I'm going to build a greenhouse over this. And probably like from just that side of it all the way over to the edge of the house. And I'd like to be able to have the entrance to my cellar in the greenhouse. So have it come up to this part of the house here and up over to there on the, that side of the house but i've got a lot of planning to do a lot of thinking uh, got to look at what's available for me to use and then uh, i'll get out here and start working on it all right well anyway i guess that's another update on my four bait give me some thumbs up give me some ideas on what to do this is a used 4x8. I, I pulled this thing from another area in the yard and I had a previous garden. So yeah, it's falling apart. I figured it's, it's only gonna be good for maybe another season and then I'll I'll disassemble it, maybe burn it or, or whatever and then build a fresh new one. Well, give me some ideas. Give me some thumbs up, subscribe to my channel. And I'll talk to you later.